That sounds fucking weird. It's a bird making that noise. Anyway. <sighs> Tomorrow my new rap song comes out called Gorillas. You're probably getting tired of me saying Gorillas is coming out. Gorillas is coming out. Gorillas is coming out. Well, it's coming out. And, um, <laughs> you know, and, um, you gotta listen to it. You know, I've done rap songs out here. I've done them in seven bedroom multiple times. If you don't know, guys, you can cost you that hundred subscribers. When I said when I get to hundred subscribers, I'm dying my hair red. So, hey, we're getting there. That might have something to do with the fact we're getting close to it, but also might have something to do with the fact we're doing more music videos, and I'm doing, you know, some other videos too, saying. More realistic, I guess, more realistic things to you guys. But I've been doing videos now for three years. The fact that we can cost that hundred to me is just like awesome, you know. I've done videos such as Pumpkin Smash, with my first big video. They got thirty-four views. You know, my second video to ever get bigger than that was of course Pumpkin Smash. That was like thirty-six views, but bigger than that, my third video was two thousand views. You know. And it's crazy to think, guess what? I'm making it up in the world on and on and on in some sense. Like, guess what? I'm a YouTuber, but at the same time, it's like, holy shit. You know, it's kind of crazy how YouTube... It's kind of made my, has kind of made me in a way, but at the same time, it hasn't made me, if that makes sense. I don't know what you're thinking. Like, why is he doing this type of video? Like, why does he always do uplifting videos? Would you rather me downlift you? Would you rather me say, fucking be down in the deeps, you know? Be down, you know, do something stupid. Go ahead and do something stupid. Get yourself killed? No. Don't get yourself killed. Don't do something stupid. But if you are going to do something stupid, fine, go ahead and do it, you know? Go prove something to yourself. Don't prove yourself to somebody else. If you're going to prove yourself to somebody else, make sure it's somebody that you know that will make somebody, make sure it's somebody that will make you feel right. Not because you want to make them feel right. I'm only 19. I know. I know what you're thinking. Why does he do these uplifting videos? Why does, why does he do this? A, because I want to. B, because I want to. C, because I want to. <laughs> um, you know. Will I, ever do a, will I ever do a video on top of the top of the bus again? Yeah, I probably will. I've actually thought about doing my next video, my next music video, and probably, probably possibly my last music video, probably for a long time, or probably ever. Who knows? Um, yeah. Um, Rockstar on top of the bus, and I'm probably because I'm you know I'm, I'm gonna do promos probably on top of the buses too. I don't know. I don't know, I have to figure this shit out, you know, and, um, I have stuff for sale, like I said before, guys, you know, all of it except two bags are in the white building over this way, yeah, um, is it the white, is it the brown building, right, kind of thing, you think, right? but it's in the white building, I know, for a fact, if you guys seen the video that I did where I was posting this stuff, putting it in the building, um, yeah. The fuck's that noise I'm hearing? I just heard a root noise. That was weird. Um. You hear that? I don't hear it now. That's not one of the horses. I swear that isn't one of the horses. It's a fucking car show over there. I'm gonna think some, some weird animal or something was over here. It's like, what the fuck? There has to be that fucking race, that race track going on. That sounds so weird. Um, anyway, um, though, well, um, you know, I definitely want to be a wrestler. That's a factor in my life, you know. Um, 
I've talked to people about wrestling multiple times in my life. They ask me why I want to get into wrestling, and it's kind of one time I actually got asked. Is there anybody in your family a wrestler? I'm like thinking myself, not that I know of. <laughs> nope. No. Nobody there, nobody's in my family's a wrestler. My uncle had trained, he trained amateur is a is a collegiate MMA fighter, you know, and um his two kids that are younger than me, one's I'm not gonna say the right, but one's not much younger than me, the other one is very much younger than me. Trained as amateur wrestlers, so I guess you could say, yeah, kind of. There's people in my family that there's there, we have fighting backgrounds. My people, people in my family do, but at the same time, you know, not very many do. So yeah. And I went to a show. I had a YouTube channel at the time, but I didn't want to fucking film it. Why, why, why would I want to film my family doing that? I could have. I could have, but I don't think you just want to watch a, a collegiate wrestling. The difference in collegiate wrestling and pro wrestling is. Collegiate reps, wrestling is amateur wrestling, and it's just the basics of pros. It's not going into to a, like a wrestling ring. It's just a pure mat. And a little fun fact here. It's literally just a pure mat, and you're just going tussle. You know, you're going to arm lock. You're going to... You don't get... If you get thrown on your back... Most creature shows that touch against the rules. They get thrown on your back. Just say it. I don't know why it is, but it is. Don't tell me. I don't make the rules. I didn't come up with. I didn't come up with idea for Kujic wrestling. You know, it started actually in the Roman area. Yeah, Kujic wrestling. The word Kujic wrestling comes from the word Roman. It comes. In, it comes from the Romans. So you can think Romans for wrestling. You know, you can think people in the 1900s, such as Gorgeous George. If you don't know who Gorgeous George is, the wrestler, look up Gorgeous George. Gorgeous George, he walked out with a teddy bear. He wore makeup. This dude was a wrestler in the 1900s, remind you. This dude tried to break, you know, stereotypes in wrestling, I guess you could say. He's the reason that wrestlers have gimmicks, Gorgeous George. So, yeah. His wife was still wrestling. His wife was still wrestling at the age of 70. So, yeah. She went through a table um, in the early 2000s. This is when I got into wrestling because, you know, I'm only two, I was born in 2002, I'm only 19. You know, imagine that. Um, <laughs> um, little, a little bit of a factor here. And I say it's a little bit of a factor. You know, she, got, she went through a table. Because of the Dudley. The Dudleys are not women wrestlers, they are guy wrestlers. You got Devon Dudley and you got Bubba Dudley. Otherwise known as Bull Away. Otherwise known as the Reverend Dudley. Oh, testify. Um, you know, I don't know why I said Reverend Dudley. I meant Devon. But yeah, Reverend, Dudley, Reverend Devon, which that gimmick did not last long. You know, you got Butter Devon. That gimmick was hilarious through its time. You know. When people look at the, the Reverend Devon gimmick, it's hilarious for one reason. It never made sense that you would make a priest, you know, the priest gimmick that never made sense. It was hilarious because, like, that's the, like, it made the testify thing. Like, that's the thing he always set out through his career, you know. Because he would always say, oh, testify. Preacher would say that, you know. Preacher would say testify, but they wouldn't say, oh, testify. They would say testify. They would say, oh, testify. If they said, oh, testify, you'd kind of think something's up. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. I'm not wrong by any means on that behalf. Um, peace out, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. With, of course, the one and only Gorillas.